When working directly with Stripe Payment Intents to collect payments, there are two important steps that happen in that process, and those are the authorization and the capture of funds. Now, authorizing a payment ensures the funds are available by placing a hold on the customer's payment method, while capturing actually initiates the transfer from the customer to the merchant. Now, there are a couple of different ways to kick off this process, but in this video, I'll show you how you can have more control over that process by implementing a manual capture method. To see how manual capture works, I'm going to use a test customer I created inside of one of my sandboxes. Now, you can see on the right side, I can see the customer details like the ID, and if I scroll down a little bit, this customer is set up with two different payment methods. Now, these are test cards, so one card is good at the client payments, and the other card will always successfully accept payments. Now, what I need to do is open up one of these payment methods and copy the ID because we're going to need that to create the new payment intent. Now, let's head over to my terminal and see how this works. Inside of the terminal, we'll explore how manual capture works using the Stripe CLI. You can see I'm creating a new payment intent for the amount of $99.99 with the US currency. I'm attaching the customer and also the customer's payment method. And then on the last line, I'm setting confirm to true and the capture method to manual. Now, let's go ahead and execute this command. And now let's head back over to the Stripe dashboard. What I want to do is open up Stripe Workbench. So I'm going to go to the Developers menu and head to Events. Now, if we look at the last three events that were created, we could see that we had a payment intent that was created, a charge that was succeeded, as well as an amount capturable updated event that was fired. If I take a look at the payload for the charge succeeded, you can see that the amount is set to $9.99, but the amount captured is zero. That means we haven't collected any funds from the customer yet. If you look at the amount capturable updated event, We'll scroll down. You'll notice that it says amount received is zero. So right now we've just authorized that the funds are available, but they actually haven't been transferred yet. To initiate the transfer, we need to copy the ID of the payment intent. Now let's head back over to the terminal. Now I'm going to do a Stripe payment intent capture, and I'm going to paste in the ID of that payment intent that we just copied. Hit enter. If we head back over to the dashboard now and hit refresh, looking at the last two events, we can see that the charge was captured and also the payment intent was now succeeded. Taking a look at the objects inside of the event data, the amount received for the payment intent is $9.99. And inside of the captured events, looking at the event data inside of here, we see the amount captured property is also set to $9.99. But now you've gotten an idea of the steps you have to take, as well as the events that get triggered whenever using manual capture. Now, in this example, we use the Stripe CLI, but you can do the same thing in your applications using one of the supported language SDKs. There are a number of reasons why you might want to implement manual capture to control when the authorization and the capture of funds happen. For instance, with hotels, they often authorize the funds before their guests arrive, but then capture the funds when they check out. Now, in another video, we'll talk about some of the other different capture methods that are available in Stripe, but until then, Make sure you check out some of the resources inside of the Stripe documentation if you want to learn more about payment methods and the different capture methods that we have.